Hello, this is MacGyver. I'm here with some wheel swaps. You'll see those wheels. Uh, finally, I found some wheels for the front of Bone Shakers. And these first two, they came off of this. They came off this paint truck. This is an older release. And I put some diesel wheels on it. Yeah, that's why I've been collecting up diesel wheels to upgrade some of my stuff. So, yeah. Uh-oh, what's happening now? There we go. Yeah, uh, put the diesel wheels on here. Took those first two set off. I mean, the first two off of it. Got her done. Then the next three, they came off with diesel. That's right. So, yeah, I got them. Uh, I got it done. Hang on. I run into the wheels. But here's what I put them on. Some more diesel wheels. Yeah. This is a truck I got from Mr. Hewitt way back here, and I put, I put the, well, I got it from him. He didn't have no wheels because he had robbed them, them real riders from it. So I had put those three on it, those three pairs. And so, you know, my last video, I said I wasn't sure if I had any wheels for the front of a bone shaker. Well, there we go. Yeah, got what we needed there. I just look and see how close that is. It is awful close, but they roll. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I put the diesel wheels on it and got that one done. And I got the bone shaker done. Oh, well, the bank truck, I took the wheels off of this one. Yeah, this is brand new. So, yeah, I didn't put no wheels back on it because I ain't sure about what I'm going to do with it. And the wheels that I put on the uh, the triple wheels were in my jar. They would, they were wheels that had been already collected up. Dang. Hang on a minute. Got to move up a little bit. <laughs> Stretching my arm out. It's had me shaking pretty good there, but maybe that'd be better. So anyway, uh, that's what that triple axle truck got the wheels out of a jar. So anyway, like I said, I got the bone shaker done. Here's the bone shaker. This is from that five pack I showed. Yeah, got it had old. Oh, it had an old tan looking motor and headers. So I put a chrome engine and headers and my favorite wheels on it. Yes, indeed. I like this for sure. And the wheels for the front, the wheels on this back of this bone shaker, uh, came off of the, uh, this, and I put these wheels back on it. Uh, and the front wheels that's on this. Came off another bone shaker that I had done a wheel swap on, and it was this one. And as you can see, I put the wheels on this bone shaker that were on the, the five-pack one. And as you can see, the brown, tan, or whatever colored motor is on here. And on the back, whenever I did the wheel swap on this, I put uh, some extra wide tires on it. And so uh, I didn't want I didn't want the extra wide tires on the bone shaker. I wanted to keep it a, like original, you know, not too wide. And so anyway, those are not too wide, but the extra wide ones that was on this bone shaker, I put them on this. So this has got extra wide tires on it now. But I probably won't be keeping this. Well, you know. I said I probably won't be keeping this, but I'm going to hang on to it. 
because one day I might need to steal these wheels for something else. Now, these are the tall, tall wheels. Now, they make three different sizes. Uh, you got this tall one, and then you got the medium one, and then the short one, which is like was on the Mercedes. And like on the you know, on the front of most cars, you got the short wheel. Now this wheel on the, the wheels that's on the front of the bone shaker are like the rear wheels on most cars, diameter wise that is. And then you got wide and narrows. So anywho, that's what we got there, and uh, we'll get another look at the bone shaker. Definitely looks much better with that. With the chrome headers, chrome engine compared to that old tan one. And this here car here, I'll be passing this on. I'll probably pass this to Cecil. Yeah, as he is if Cecil wants it. I don't know if Cecil does any customizing. I hadn't really uh, got by his channel and watched anything yet. Just met him. But, uh, Cecil, if you want this year bone shaker, just speak up. I'm going to, uh, let it go. And probably this here bone shaker right here. This is the one I took the chrome motor off of. No, it ain't either. My bad. Let me back up. Let's see. It's this one. This bone shaker. I'm going to pass this on, too, because I've took the chrome motor off of it and put a black one on it. I wasn't able to get the, cr the chrome t tank to go in the other one, so it wound up staying in this one. But these two bone shakers, I'll probably pass to Cecil if he wants them. If not, they'll go in someone else's trade box. Yeah, indeed. So anyway, you see that wheel? Yeah. That's a wheel. <laughs> why, ain't it, why is it only one wheel? Because I used the other one. And here it is. Yeah, got her done. Got the LQ, I mean, the, the Ranchero straightened on out. And this stupid camera is changing on me when I ain't wanting it to. It says, it says it's on lock. Let me see if I can get the lock off. Well, dang it. Oh, well. Maybe to stay all right. Sorry about all the shaking. Trying to, trying to deal with this wore out contraption. But anyway, I had this set of wheels in my jar for a while. Don't even know which is exactly which vehicle come off of. And it looks like it can stand some re-chroming on it. It looks like uh, the very outer edge of the rims lost its chrome. I didn't notice that. Like I was told, like I've said before, these old cameras that show up things that uh, your normal eye won't see. Like, look at that rim. Now that This car came with the rim like that. Ain't that something? That is pathetic. See about the other side. This is the side you'd see if it's in the package. And it don't look much better, does it? But anyway, that's the Ranchero. And how did I get all the decorations off of it? I'll show you. I took I took this old uh pen that ain't the, the dry eraser that don't work no more. It's done got dry. And I used some of this right here. You'd say, what? That's right. I used some of this here. Uh, S.C. Johnson. Off. Deep Woods Insect Repellent. Because last year, I sprayed some of this around one of my cars on some ants. And a few days later, I looked at my car and it was toast. The paint, it doesn't eat the paint off of it. <laughs> hey, I'm probably going to use that to uh, depaint some of my castings. But yeah, that's what I used. I sprayed some of that on the tip of the. I sprayed it on the tip of this thing, 
and I went to work on the car. And then whenever it got to where it was getting dry, when it got to where it was getting dry, it, uh, I'd, I'd put some more on it. And once, you know, I'd, I'd work on it a little bit and then I'd wipe it down. Yeah. I'd wipe the car down because I didn't want to leave that residue on there too long. It messed up the paint. But anyway, once I got all the decorations off of it, I took it to the water hydrant outside and I turned it on and washed it so it would neutralize what was left on it. But anyway, turned out pretty good. Ranchero, it ain't no art car no more. So anyway, y'all done seen the sneak peek there, me not holding the camera right, but there's those Maisto wheels. Yeah. And I got the Maisto done, and there it is. You probably seen it already a while ago, and dang it, this camera is just not going to let, let y'all see the color of this vehicle today. Crazy. At least in my screen, it looks like a all yellow truck now, but the video, when y'all watching it, it may show the white. But anyway, I got it lifted. I mean, I, I lifted it up a little bit higher than it would have been if I'd have just put the wheels on it as is. I cut the axle slot deep, practically almost all the way through. And then I put, laid the axle in there, applied JB, well, I applied some JB weld in there first, then laid the axle in on top of it and squished it in. And then put more JB weld over the top of the axle on both front and back. And as soon as I got all that applied, then I put the, in, the uh, base, uh, put the my body on the base, and I set it up on some blocks. I set the front up on blocks and the back up on blocks and pushed down on all four wheels at the same time. Got them all touching the floor and I carefully let go of it and left it alone until it was done. And there's a front look at the front of it. It's not leaning. If it is, it's, it's just barely. And there's the back of it. That's it. Get that done. And up uh, here's the Hummer. As you can see, I didn't put no wheels back on the Hummer because I could care less about the Hummer. Anyway, up next, see those wheels? Well, I took them off the next truck and I did a lift. To, I lifted it and put a set of bead locks on it. And there it is. I don't know what y'all going to think about that one, but that's what I did to it. It ain't, it ain't the best in the world. And I took the wheels in under it a little bit by cutting the stems off. And, and I, I bent the axle into a U shape and then back out. So that, that took up all the slack that it had in the axles. Cause I didn't want to cut the axles and all that. But yeah, that's what I did to that. Got her fixed up. No doubt. Don't look too bad. Not too bad at all. So anyway, got that done. And I did not get to the Chevelle. Here's the, here's the other uh, Hummer. Hummer, the second Hummer. I'll show you. There's Hummer 1 and Hummer 2. No wheels back on it. I didn't get to the Chevelle today. No. And the reason why is because the wheels I need are somewhere buried in one of these boxes. As you can see, all that stuff, there's boxes on top of boxes on top of boxes, plus all these cars that I had to move. So I'll try for that next weekend so we didn't get the Chevelle done. And I got this truck out here because it's going to get a wheel sharp right along with the Chevelle. And it's going to get a couple of bone shaker wheels. Yeah. So I just, I know I just said I got these for bone shakers now, but heck, uh, it all depends. If I get some big retro slots, I'll put them on. But these are going to be going to go on this, and it'll look like that when I'm done. Yeah, it'll look like that when I'm done. 
anyway, that's it for today. My time's about to be gone. So I want to thank everybody for watching. And this is Mike McGyver, and I'm gone.